Welcome back, guys, to Nero and 1.3. Uh, it's gonna be a real point of contention on me what to do. As a ranger, it's so funny. I mean, as a melee, you're like, yeah, yeah, what weapon do I use? Am I using the flare on? Am I using the... Oh my god, this thing is right outside my base. Ooh, that thing really wants to kill me. Uh, okay. Yep. Man, this is bad. That killed me really fast. Odd. Anyway. I'm just saying it's a lot more clear-cut when you're a different class. Like, when you're a mage, you're always going to be using magic weapons. And, it, you know, if you're trying to choose what magic weapon to use, it's still the same basic formula. You know, do I use this because it's short range? Do I use this because it hits pierces multiple targets? Do I even want to pierce multiple targets? Am I using the magnet sphere? You know, if you're a summoner, it's like, how many of this minion do I use? Well, I don't know if summoner's really that legit of a thing. But, um... I will say, when you're a ranger, or at least when I'm a ranger, I, I keep second-guessing my best stats now. Like... I really like rockets! You know? I, I'm... <sighs> but what about chlorophyte bullets and a vortex beater? Maybe all I need is one weapon. Yeah. Because what else would I use? The Xeno Popper? It... <laughs> no. This thing would home in on everything. I mean, I have a homing rocket launcher. But let's face it. Rocket damage is so much more impressive. Okay. Where's the solar pillar exactly? Well, it would make sense, wouldn't it? Directly above the desert. Oh, God. Yep, big fiery wasteland. Oh, God. You bugger. Thankfully, that thing seems to have died instantly, whatever it was. Giant crawl to Pete of death. Literally fighting giant fireballs. Yeah. That thing is spooky. Doesn't seem to have a health bar. It's weird. Okay. I'm not exactly sure how it targets me either. Uh, I mean, that thing was able to mulch me in a few seconds. And then it just kind of went away for some reason. And one of my homing rockets took it out. Like, weird. Out of everything else that was flying at me, that was the one thing on screen that seemed constant. Uh, as far as this pillar of uh, solar power goes, it seems extremely crazy. We're going to need a new tactic for this. It's above the desert. What do we do? I'm thinking maybe the Electrosphere launcher again still. I don't think I'm close enough yet. Oh, yeah, it even has an icon on script on stage. Okay. Okay, come at me. I think we're safe down here. I hope. Yeah, maybe not. Everything's glowing golden. This is going to be maybe the hardest pillar. At least with the strange, you know, minion-based pillar. Yeah, the minions were really rough and the sky was filled with enemies. This one just seems to be giant flaming balls of fire killing you from every direction. Especially those large wormy things. Man. They are fast, they take up way too much screen room. I don't know how much health they have. Stop doing that. No. Three. There. Oh my god. Why is this difficult? Just take the book. No. Just take the girl and wipe away the debt. Please? There. Oh my goodness. Thank you. No. 
maybe this is the one time that the godly stinger is actually worth it. Because I don't use this weapon. I don't. Everything else is so much better. It's just, it's still on my inventory screen because I said to myself, if I'm a rocket user... Oh, these guys kind of change their tactic and ball up a whole bunch. Okay, that's wacky. You have to watch out for the giant ser snake serpents, though. Yeah. I think almost being over this pit is my best bet. Doesn't seem a lot of sense to... You know, use fire against these guys, but I think it's working. Yep, this is probably the melee-based one because of how ridiculously at my face everything is. I can kill a few, but I'm really not getting far enough. Am I even... I might even want to switch to the Flayron for this. If I can keep them all over this pit, I know that killing them does count as being close enough to the pillar. It's gonna be the pit and the pendulum. That's my tactic here. But they can jump so high they don't... You know, conventional mob... Dodging doesn't work. It's right out the window. Right out the window. They just break something. Just a cup. Okay. Okay. I don't know what the other pillar is going to be like. But this one is rough. Okay, we're going to use the flare on. Okay, keep on the worm scarf. We're going to hopefully do okay with this. I'm ready and willing to change this for anything else. Yeah, that big wormy boss thing is really nasty. But it hasn't attacked me a while since I uh, hung out on the ground. Okay, of course. Now I'm dumb and taking fall damage. Or I'm wrong, entirely wrong, and it just... <laughs> Maybe if it's, you know, if I'm not killing things in a set period of time, the worm thing will just home in on me. Probably should have kept on the wings. Even if I don't keep on the ninja gear, I do like the dash bonus. It's just so much friendlier to be dashing around the map all the time. That's why I was so excited when I got the warding shield of Cthulhu first try. Didn't even have to be warding, it's just the dash ability makes walking around the map so much more fun. That was kind of the thi my thing. I'm a real fan of the ninja gear. I may have to take a detour to go fishing again soon. That's how ridiculous this is. On the plus side, not a long way to travel. Downside, really easy to die. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. They're everywhere. Okay. Yep. Dodge, dodge, dodge. No. Didn't even really register that I killed the crawl to beat. That thing is rough. Okay, we're back here again. Kind of hard to tell what's an enemy and what's... No, I think they're all enemies. I'm almost willing this time around to go, like, exclusively Snowman Cannon. Because they go right for your face. What do you do? Ah, uh, it's rough. Oh, man, we finally did it, I think. I don't really know how, but we did. Now, let's just try and survive for once. Oh, my God. Okay. There's just so much junk on screen here. Oh, we did it. Okay. Thank goodness. And then... Oh. What? What was that? Those weird crawl to pee just keep exploding off screen when I'm not looking, and then I don't think it counts as me killing them. Uh, suffice it to say, though, everybody, I just died a lot. 
to the solar pillar. Like, no joke. Like, oh man. I don't want to admit I was bad at that, but I was pretty bad at it. <laughs> so much so that I was considering building some strange arena underneath the pillar and just... I don't even know. Just avoiding attacks because things were killing me left, right, center, and... Well, some directions that haven't been invented yet. I did acquire two banners, but wow, that was rough. That was extremely rough. I would go so far as to say that that wasn't even fun anymore. I mean, enemy gauntlets are one thing, but uh, when they're that strong, um, wow. I am not going to be ready for whatever comes after this. Okay, so we can still make three things. A Daybreak Spear. And a solar eruption. Hmm. Well, that's a melee item. Um... You know what? Let's hold off on crafting that. Or at least let's find out what it looks like, because I'm always going to want one of these, I think. Weird? It's like a weird extendy sword that's auto targeting and does 139. It kind of sounds like a chainsaw. That's interesting. Um. Well, let's go put this away for now, or at the very least, reforge it into something interesting and then go put it away into the melee chest. Yeah, Godly sounds pretty good on the second one. I ain't picky. That's a lie, I'm totally picky. But that's three pillars down, one to go, and who knows what happens after that. Impending death. Most likely. So let's enjoy it while we can. I'll put the uh, solar eruption thing in this chest because I don't think it fits with this character. Besides, the Flayron can home. Doesn't that automatically make it better? I don't know. Maybe for my character. Maybe not for a melee one. I'd be interested in trying to build a different character with this stuff. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you later.